Hello, my Archons of Chaos. This is your King of Night, Vincent Valentine, the Turk. Sorry for the funny voice. I'm still kind of sick, so. And my voice don't carry over that much. It's probably because of I'm sick. But, anyways, so I can actually turn on theme music just a little bit. Alright. Now, here's with another Final Fantasy 15 segment. Again, like we always do, we do Final Fantasy segments all the time. See my new background. I actually got a new background. So, yeah, I got I put my, my Final Fantasy 15 pillow there. But anyways, this is not about my Final Fantasy 15 pillow or my Final Fantasy merch at all. This is about did the question is did Arden retain some of his powers and strengths from Ifrit? And I'm gonna answer yes because after you know Eve, after Arden was betrayed by the people. Because he was once a beloved healer, he was betrayed. He was betrayed by the people, and you know, also the fact that he, the the fa the fan theory that Eos died, which also drove hit Arden to do a lot more, as well as his, as as, as well as his betrayal by Zuni and Lucius Kylum, which is presumed to be his brother. So after being betrayed by his brother, the people. And by the Astrals because they took his gift away because he was corrupted by the Star Scourge. I think Arden, Arden Azunia, this is no more Lu Arden Lucius Kylum because he's took in the name Arden Azunia at this time and became the Chancellor of Niflheim. Because Niflheim's history goes way back. You know, as you can see in the newspaper with uh, Morris Lucius Kylum. You know, having a peace tree signed with um, Idolus Outer Cap. So, again, Niflheim has a lot of history. So, at this time, Arden would have became Chancellor of Niflheim. And at this point, he would have seeked out Ifrit, knowing everything Ifrit did. And that Ifrit was the originator of the Star Scourge. So, Ifrit would have took Arden under his wing because... Ifrit would have, uh, Ifrit would have saw, uh, would have saw, you know, someone just like him, because he knows we probably knew what happened to Arden as well, since Eos also the mother of Ifrit. In a way, Ifrit's kind of like an older brother to um, Arden Lucius Kylum, or in this case Arden Azunia, because this is the name. This is the part where he takes the name Arden Azunia. So. With all of that that's happening, I think Ifrit would have took him under his wing and would have gave him some power to command the Star Scourge. That's why Arden can command the Star Scourge as well. So even after you defeat Ar even if after you defeat Ifrit in that battle, the Star Scourge isn't over unless both Ifrit and Arden takes a fall and loses. Which happened at the end of the game. I don't need to go into detail how the only way you could kill Arden Azunia. I'm pretty sure you played the game again. This is I don't count it as spoiler because at the same time this game's already been out for like four months already, so it's not really considered spoiler at this point. So you know, but yes, you already know how you already know how to kill Arden um, Azunia. But I'm pretty sure he got some of his. I think I mean, some of his immortality came from some of the demons of the Star Scourge, but I think most of it came from Ifrit. Ifrit has a vast knowledge of all that stuff, being an astral and stuff, and astrals live over a thousand years. And again, Ifrit hates his own brothers because of what they did to Eos, his mother. Because of that, yes, Eos should have never breeded with humans to make... You, you know, the Lucius Kylie and Bloodline. That's why they were never supposed to exist. But at the same thing, the gods and Astros took it a little bit too far. But I think, if anything, let's get back to the subject at hand. Ephraim would have took Arden under his wing. Because you know, he sensed that Arden feels the same way he does. And that's all it takes for Ephraim to want to accept you. Is when you start to feel the same as he does. Now, I would have to say Ifrit would be pretty much a harsh teacher. Unlike Bahamut. Like, Bahamut is pretty easy going a little bit. You know, he just wants to see the Chris, the, the, the judgment of light, or whatever you call it. But, um, 
Baham is much more easier teacher to knock this than Efrit was with uh, Arden. And the reason why I say that is, the reason why I say that is Arden's harsh. Each Final Fantasy game, he's always got some rude remark he says about the main character. Just like in Final Fantasy VIII, he just, you know, he couldn't accept the fact that he was being ruled over by a human. Because of that stuff, because of that, he would be a harsher teacher. Because every Efrit's the same in the respect that they're all harsh. They're all, they're all assholes. All versions of Efrit are assholes. And, you know, he's actually the only summon that's kind of a dick. I mean, he's not as much as he is with Final Fantasy XV because, remember, Efrit's the one who created the Star Scourge. He's the one who planted the virus in the sun to turn people into demons. But, anyways, back to sorry, I'm, I'm just going back off topic. He would have took uh, he would have took Arden under his wing, but Arden would have been through some intense training, you know, for the rest of those thousands of years. Because remember, he's lived for two thousand years. And again, yes, before anyone says, "Oh, you're a copycat of peasant," I do watch Final Fantasy peasant stuff, and I don't copycat. You know, I come up with my own theories and stuff like that. The reason why I quote him is because, you know, to make sense of the added theories that could come with this. Ar Arden, I mean, Efrit would have been a harsh teacher to Arden. Because of that, Arden would have learned a lot more than what Noctis did under Bahamut. Because Bahamut's easy going, you know. Efrit's kind of that asshole teacher, you know. Kind of reminds me of that one teacher in the Karate Kid, the bad teacher. Who beats the shit out of their own students? That's what Efrit would have done to Arden, but you know it would have been out of, out of love because he wants to see Efrit wants to see Arden succeed at killing the Lucius Kylan bloodline because it was that bloodline that caused Eos to get killed in the first place for creating that bloodline. So yes, Noctis, Arden, and anyone from the Lucius Kylan household, the reason why they got the powers they got is they're half astrals, they're half summons. They're half astrals, you know. Which again, that's why I said uh, before how Final Fantasy peasants videos make a lot of sense too, because I mean you gotta really think deeply at everything. You know, you gotta really think deeply at everything. It's not copy a cat when you come with your own conclusion, because this is about how Efrit gave some of his power to Arden. And train him over those thousands of years. Because I, I, I have to assume it's a thousand years. We don't know exactly when Arden seeked out Ephraim. But Arden knew everything Ephraim did. And because they both have the same mindset. Well, I mean, why, work, why not work together? You know? You have the same goal and purpose. I mean, not that I agree with villainy and doing horrible things to people. But if I was a pretty evil, nasty villain, I would team up with the other villain. And say, hey... I don't, you know, I don't like the way shit's going. I want to change it too. <laughs> because Arden feels the same way about humans as um, Efrit does. Because remember, even Gladios said it. That Arden, it was spite is what kept Arden, uh, spite is what kept Arden alive all these years. It's what he lived for. He lived by spite and vengeance. That's what's kept him, you know, to kept him doing all this stuff. And Efrit, of course, same thing with Efrit. Efrit wants to kill all the Astrals. And Efrit wants to create the Star Scourge. And he really wants to kill the Lucius Kylan bloodline. Because it was the Lucius Kylan bloodline is the reason why she got punished by the Astrals. And that's why you see that statue in the Pedios dungeon. You know, you see that statue in the Pedios dungeon. Um, you know, and chained up. And then you, she falls down because... It's to signify that Eos dies because she created the Lucius Kylan bloodline. And that's why the only way to, ki to get rid of Arden was to make sure all Lucius Kylan bloodline members die. Which makes a lot of sense, I think. It makes a lot of sense that Efrit would hate the Lucius Kylan bloodline because not only the Astrals are at fault, but it's the Lucius Kylan bloodline. The only, on the all, again, now he doesn't hate all Lucius Kylans, or he wouldn't have took Arden under his wing. But Arden, but the only reason why Efrit took Arden under his wing is because Arden felt the same way Efrit does. And again, like I said, we both have the same goals. You know, fuck the Lucius kind of bloodline. You know, that's that's what they both were thinking. They're like, yeah, they're like, fuck them, fuck them for making Eos get killed. You know what? Let's team up. 
And of course, Ifrit would give his powers to Arden. Because in order for the Star Scourge to be defeated, destroyed, Ifrit, the one who created it, is not the only one who has to perish. The person who's in second command of the Star Scourge, which was Arden. That's why you at the end of the series, whether you see Noctis or Luna Frey, you want to call that the afterlife or not, I really don't, I mean, again, that's why, I think that's why I have the interpretation of how the ending is where you see all the bright skies and everything's turning back to normal because the Star Scourge is over. The demons have been banished after Noctis defeated Arden. But see, Ifrit trusted Arden. Ifrit has trusted Arden with the Star Scourge. Meaning that even if Ephraim passes it passes away, Arden has control over it. Full control. Like an inheritance. Ephraim's like a big brother to Arden. A better big brother. Because Azunia was a shitty brother. And again, this is all fan theory, so I'm not gonna don't say, oh that's not Karen, you're just making up shit. No. Uh, in my fan theories, Azunia Lucy's kind of is the uh, the biological brother of older brother of uh, Arden. That's why Arden took the name Azunia because of his hatred toward, you know, his older brother. But I'd say Ifrit is more of a bit, uh, better brother figure because they both have the same goal. And Ifrit has taught everything to Arden. You know, it even gave him the power to control the Star Scourge because they both have the same mindset. They both want revenge. This game is about, this game is about family and revenge. As well as death. Because the main character dies. And he, they still kept the theme of death. Because, you know... Revenge and death were the biggest themes of Final Fantasy XV. Because it's the reason why Lu Arden and Lucius Kylum or Arden and Azunia is what he preferred to go by. Um, did what he did. Same thing with Ifrit. The Astros killed Eos. Ifrit wants revenge. You know... And I'll admit, it, this does take back from Sephiroth, because Sephiroth was the original Mama's Boy. But, you know, it did make sense, and it played out really well, despite Chapter 13's fuck-up. And that's my fan theory of it. I still, my fan theory is, yes, Ifrit has gave some, and trained, and trained Arden. And that's where Arden gets some of his power from. Now, may the crystal be with you. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm sick. Comment what you think. This is only a fan thing.